Hey, hello guys. In this tutorial, I am going to show you how you can fix Termux signal 9 error or process complete error on our Android phone. So this error which is comes from Android 12 and higher variant because Google integrated phantom process killer in their softwares. That's why we are facing these issues on our Termux application. So that's why you're not able to use Kali Linux or any other stuffs on your Android phone using Termux. But first of all, you need to know how you can fix that error. First, you need to install Shizuku app and ACL app and set up this application which is allow you to run ADB commands through your Android phone. So if you don't know how to do that, I already created a video on that. So go and watch that video on my channel, which is Mahesh Technicals and watch this video, watch this video. Okay. And you will able to learn how you can set up this both application and activate ADB commands on your Android phone. Okay. So we need that application ACL. We execute sub commands and we able to disable phantom process killer so you cannot face any termux issues like signal 9 or process complete okay so first of all open any browser now go to maheshtechnicals.com i hope you already set up your adb commands on your android phone okay so now you can see this article this is fixed termux errors so if you not found this article here just click on search icon and type termux now you will get this article okay like this so we have more ad articles as well so you can check it out okay so but now right now we are going to use this article just click on it and this problem is because of phantom process killer so we need to disable that phantom process killer on our android phone you can use these commands as on your pc as well you can use adb shell on pc and you can execute this command on pc as well but right now we are using our android phone to use adb commands so that's why we have shizuku and a shell application installed on, on our system okay so let me show you how you can do that it is very simple process guys we need to run some commands here okay we have three commands for command one command two command three and your phantom process will kill then we have two more commands which is tell you your phantom process killer is disabled or not okay so first of all we are going to copy the first command here make sure to copy proper command otherwise you will not able to disable phantom process killer on your android phone okay just paste here a this application is ACL application i already told you go and watch my previous video which is adb commands running on our android phone without root okay so just paste this command and press enter then now copy this command and again go and paste this command as well make sure ACL application will not work without shizuku application which is with uh, shizuku application configuration needed for running ACL application okay that's why i told you to watch my previous video now copy this third command and paste it over here and boom guys your phantom process killer is disabled successfully now how you can check that so to check that we have two more commands so let's start okay so scroll down and this is command 1 and command 2 which will tell you your phantom process killer is disabled or not just copy that command paste here Now you will see this number and texts okay so now the next command is this one which is second one copy this command it will tell you your phantom process killer is disabled or not let me show you how paste this command and press enter okay so now you if you see this type of numbers it means your phantom process killer is successfully disabled so now you need to just reset your phone i mean restart your phone okay not reset 
you need to restart your phone reboot your phone and that's it now you can use your termux application and use any like any stuffs like if kali linux ubuntu any stuff whatever you want to use it will work successfully you will not able to get this process completed signal line error right now okay so watch this video full and follow this guide and you will able to use your termux thank you so much for watching